hey guys uh, welcome back uh, uh, in this video we will talk about svd based beamforming we will try to see you know how the beamforming can be done using uh, uh, svd mm, and uh, here we will touch upon uh, the pre-coding based uh, uh, beamforming and what is transmit beamforming and receive beamforming things like that so in the previous video i had uh, already considered uh, uh, the mimo channel right so but uh, i had taken only just to cross two so let's say uh, now we will take it a, a generic case where you know number of receive antenna is r and the transmitter antenna is t so for which we can write the system or the diagram something like this these are the equations and in the matrix form this is how we can represent so now the thing is in the previous video i, I was mainly um, considering the case when r is equal to t right uh, it was 2 cross 2 and the second condition which I had considered is H is invertible. So in this case, we had seen uh, uh, how uh, we were doing the received beamforming, right? In what directions we should look in order to get back uh, uh, my transmitted signal. But now we should uh, go to a generic case. Uh, so that's what uh, I will try to uh, explain over here. The generic case is when R is not equal to T, okay? Let's say R could be greater than T or less than T, but in most of the cases uh, for our wireless communications, so we set R is greater than T and the reason for this is already explained in previous videos uh, in um, equalization uh, playlist. Please go through that. Okay. So when R is equal to R is greater than T, uh, what, what can we say? Okay. Um, so let, let me just take uh, let me just go to that uh, um, directly let me go to the page where i am looking for the uh, svd okay so when r is greater than t uh, then um, h is not a square matrix uh, for which uh, i when, for which we can say that uh, h inverse is not straight forward right h inverse uh, is uh, exists to follow this square matrix but this, this is not a square matrix and, and moreover, even though H is a square matrix and uh, there could be a case where the H inverse does not exist. Maybe uh, even, even though it is 2 plus 2, maybe let's say the rank is 1 and uh, the columns of the H are dependent. So that, that is possible, right? So under that case, uh, how to transmit? What can we do? So that is when uh, this SVD come into picture. Uh, <coughs> So if we perform a sweet decomposition of the channel H, uh, we can decompose this, we, we can decompose something like this, U sigma VR mission. So that is written in the matrix form, something like this. Here we need to note down the uh, properties. So U or mission and U or mission U would give identity. Okay. And uh, whereas uh, uh, V or mission V will also give, give us identity. So that's how these uh, uh, vectors would be written. These vectors are considered uh, in, in that way only these vectors are orthonormal vectors okay so this is the condition for orthonormal vector i will not go through these are all the basics of uh, linear algebra uh, so now what about uh, sigma 1 sigma 2 uh, uh, these are all the singular values so, so these are all uh, ordered uh, in, in this way okay the number of uh, non-zero singular values would represent the rank all right so basically these singular values are present uh, here so now, now, what is that we need to consider? Okay. So now, considering the property, uh, say if I transmit x bar, okay, x bar in this way, vi is a vector, okay, that is a vector. Uh, along the along that direction of the vector, uh, we are going to transmit x. Okay. Let's say xi. Then. Um, if we apply this equation okay and if you perform svd then i would get this so basically what does it mean is uh, if i transmit uh, my x along the vi then i can receive uh, the signal x okay x along ui you should look into the direction of ui so basically in in this svd okay in this svd the vectors column vectors of this u u one bar till ut bar and uh, the, the column vectors of this v forms the fundamental directions so what does this mean so if you take the 2d plane or like uh, um, i mean it depends on uh, 
the the t right okay um, so it could be multi dimension as well not just to 2d so in that case let's say to 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 make it uh, simpler it could be to cross two uh, but uh, um, if it is a generic case it could be um, t dimension uh, space so in that um, you know let's say something like this all these things could be like u1 bar u2 bar and till uh, u t bar all these are the directions along which you, uh, we can transmit x1 uh, x2 sorry mm -hmm. this could be uh, what is this this could be v right okay we can say that this is v so v1 v2 up to vt along these directions x1 x2 up to all uh, xt we can transmit so basically it is saying that yeah the beam uh, is formed in these directions to transmit uh, x1 and uh, the beam is uh, formed in this direction to transmit x2 things like that now at the receiver side uh, in order to get back uh, the x1 we need to be uh, looking in the direction of u1 so u1 could be in some other direction let's say for example like this so u1 could be like this u2 could be like this so i have written um, an example diagram okay we need to clearly see the what are the exact values of you of these vectors and we should be drawing in the 2d space but to me to understand the geometric interpretation i have written something like this so these forms uh, the vectors um, in the transmit directions these form uh, the vectors in the receive directions okay so since we are applying some kind of uh, uh, vectors in the transmit direction these vectors can be taken as uh, uh, that we are applying some kind of weight to the transmit signal right uh, this i had spoken in the previous video so this will form as uh, the transmit to be forming and uh, and at the receiver also we are going to perform some kind of weights to the received signal y so this is this will form the received beamforming okay so let us see this so since i was just explaining only the one um, x right so similarly um, what what we, what we can say so for x1 this is the direction for x2 v2 is the direction for xt vt is the direction that, that that is the diagram which i was drawing so basically if we try to write this in the matrix form we would get like this v is a matrix this is a pre-coding matrix okay so this is the perform this is the uh, like uh, pre-coding matrix or uh, uh, weight matrix that we should be applying to this x bar um, so if we transmit like this so this is v into x bar whatever is transmitted so h has been decomposed like this so anyway we know that uh, we are emission v is identity mm, so we are getting like this so at the receiver we are applying uh, the beam forming weight okay so w bar uh, our emission into y bar so here w bar is equal to uh, i mean w is equal to u it's a matrix actually uh, so so if we apply uh, this uh, then um, this is uh, anyway identity as per the property so we are going to get just a sigma into x bar so sigma into x bar meaning um, if, if, we, if we try to write this we will get uh, the parallel channels across all the antennas okay if you see antenna number one you, you will see that you have got only x1 and all the other components all the other signal components x2 till xt are not present here right so you can see in these equations so uh, now you got the clarity like uh, how uh, we are performing uh, some kind of uh, uh, for weight vectors at both the transmitter and receiver in order to get back to the signal that has been transmitted um, and such a such a mechanism uh, we understood that uh, uh, we can call it as a beam forming <coughs> as per this uh, uh, as, as per this uh, geometric uh, representation right since uh, okay what can we say since uh, you know this pre-coding matrix we are calling it as a pre-coding matrix and that is used as a uh, weight matrix beam forming weight matrix at the transmitter side uh, you know this is nothing but uh, we can say transmit uh, 
uh, beam forming in general but uh, uh, this we can say uh, as precoding based beam forming okay we are applying precoding matrix uh, uh, as a um, as a beam forming uh, weight so it is called as precoding based beam forming so i hope you got the clarity with respect to transmit beam forming receive beam forming and uh, what do you mean by precoding based beam forming uh, and uh, you also got to know in, uh, in this video how we perform both transmit and receive beam forming because in the earlier video i had uh, taken only uh, the case when there was only received beam forming right we were not doing any transmit beam forming but now it is clear with, with this video that uh, we are performing both uh, tx uh, beam forming and uh, rx beam forming uh, even we can call uh, at the tx side we can call it as the precoding based beam forming so i hope you got the clarity in the further videos we will try to see uh, more concepts related to this uh, uh, beam forming using vectors and then um, once we finish that we will move on to uh, the analog beam forming uh, concepts uh, and then we will see how to perform that in analog domain and as well as digital domain and and we will see what are the various other ways uh, that are present in the literature uh, to perform the beam forming uh, all right Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Please stay tuned.